most of the time, it's not the situation that we're afraid of facing, but it's what the situation is going to bring up. It's the fears, the demons, the anxiety, negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, or it's triggering our OCD or our own human fears, our traumas, things in the past. We know this deep down. So that's why at times people might say they want to go to the gym, they want to start the gym, but they're procrastinating. Now, it can be the case where, yeah, they might be scared to go to the gym because they're self-conscious and their body, I get that, I've, I've all, we've all experienced that, or, you know, they've got social anxiety being around people or that, you know, all that stuff. But usually it's it's not actually, you know, they, they could, they, they actually physically could get up in most cases, right? Unless you've got some disability where you can't do it. But generally, most people can go and walk into a gym and start working out. But it's what it brings up. It's the, it's the anxieties. It's the triggers. If, it, if it's going to trigger anxiety, then a lot of people would rather put it off and avoid it. Because avoiding it and putting it off keeps you safe. It, it keeps you to a sort of base level of calmness. You may be quite anxious um, because of how you feel in your life but you're going to be calmer so when we're calmer and we're more relaxed we may not be happy we may not be fulfilled in our life but we, we're feeling safe um, compared to how we how we will feel if we go and face for example go into the gym and then we got to get triggered but what I've learned in the long run it's actually good to get triggered because when you get triggered it shows you where your fears are, why you're afraid, and eventually you overcome those triggers and then you, you're going to be happier later on in your life. You're going to be more confident. Those fears and those anxieties are not going to be unconsciously stuffed down or in the background, you know, bullying you and scaring you and stopping you from moving forward. And that can go for other things like public speaking, speaking on a video. Most of the time, it's what it triggers. You know, like people are afraid that they're going to get criticised online, so they might not make a video or start a YouTube channel. And it's not so much the fear of the criticism from other people, but it's what it's what the fear and criticism from others will trigger in them. It, it may trigger their shame or panic or anxiety or, or their own mental health or OCD or worries, panic attacks. So when you start understanding that it's your own fear in your own body that you're afraid of, then you can start to get more control and work at it and understand. Because many things people can do, like for example, years ago, um, I was afraid to cook. It wasn't actually scared to cook, but I was kind of scared of what it would trigger. And I was afraid that it would trigger that I was dumb, that I was stupid. A lot of insecurities from my past when I was younger, if I made a mistake, now, what if a parent shouts at me or I, I cook the food wrong? It was really about the trigger, not actually the not actually the task itself. And I find that to be quite true in most cases of a lot of people, myself included. Same like running. Most people are not scared to run. Even if you're unfit, they're scared of what running will trigger. Right? If you go for a run, it might trigger all of your um, financial problems, your relationships demons your fears your worries things that you don't want to think about so people put the run off they don't want to run because they know that if they come out of the house it feels like they're losing control they're going into uncertainty so when i when i realized that quite a while ago from teaching others and facing my own fears i found it fascinating and very helpful in having that understanding and then you can go and start to apply these things because when you don't have the understanding you usually won't have clarity and therefore you won't have the courage to go and do it because you're just going to be stuck in fear and fear can cause a lot of confusion and doubt and you won't have that um you won't have the knowledge the understanding on why and how and and how to go and and and, and attack your fears and and face your triggers and a lot of it is shame it's people don't want to get triggered because they don't want their peace being spoiled but you have to if you want to grow and get more confident and just live a better life and just do some of the things I've said or more, you've got to get triggered. You cannot avoid triggers. If you avoid triggers, you're not going to grow in your life. You're going to kind of like stay in like permanent fear, permanent depression. So obviously, you know, no one wants to be triggered all the time, but you're not going to be triggered all the time. That's a bit unrealistic and over the top. But there's going to be a period where you've got to, got to face those triggers 
uh, until you get past them. And then there'll be other areas. We've all got triggers in our life. We've got loads of different things that trigger us and everyone's got their own personal triggers. Some triggers are going to be universal. Um, you know, a universal trigger in fear is public speaking. People shy away from that. It's not as much the actual going and speaking in front of a group of people. It's more what that would trigger. And people are not always sure. They know that they're going to be scared. They're worried about, you know, making a fool of themselves in front of people. But it's ultimately what would come up in them, how it would make them feel. And then how they would feel about that. You know, people worry about, oh, how would I feel if I go into a situation that triggers me and then I can't handle it or... It brings up doubt, shame, insecurity, worry, torment. Oh, I don't want to have to sit and live with that and deal with that after that. How long is it going to be there? Is it going to be there forever? Is it going to go? So that These are primarily where a lot of the fears are actually hiding and coming from on a deeper level. It's not always the surface like, oh, I'm scared to run, scared to speak, scared to socialize, scared to start a business or a diet. It's it's the trigger. It's the It's the situation and what it triggers for you personally.